Well, it has to be said that there really is nothing quite as satisfying as seeing the flower bed in those first few minutes after you've just taken all the dead leaves away and turned over the topsoil. It really doesn't last very long because of course as soon as it dries out a little bit that lovely dark colour seems to disappear. But as you can see everything is now beginning to look rather satisfyingly ready for spring. Here's that border from the other end of the garden. I was just thinking actually that lovely clean fresh soil there is really like the fabric before we start stitching isn't it? Just ready for all the colour to arrive. Now this is a little treat isn't it? Um, this lovely purple hellebore, no not the uh, wooden bunny, he's quite cute too. No this beautiful hellebore and I see it's got another pretty little bud about to come as well. But really it's such a superb flower. What could be prettier than that? It's a flower that I've actually worked quite often. Um, not this exact shade, but um, very close. And this is interesting actually, I've always noticed from illustrations that the bud seems to be a slightly different colour to the flower itself, I suppose because we're seeing the outside of the petal. sure you can see and possibly even hear it's a very blustery day today um, it's the 17th of February and I'm about to attack some more jobs in the garden but just before I do and in case the storms get any worse I wanted to share these beautiful little iris with you. They're so pretty. Got them coming up here in the wheelbarrow and also um, in the flower bed. The more I think about embroidery and gardening together, the more I realise the many things it has in common. One of my little cyclamen plants didn't make it. So I took it out and put some of these little fellows in instead and thought to myself how much that was like embroidery when something doesn't work we can unpick it and try again. bottom of my garden to have this nice red brick wall right down at the bottom and I'm about to cut back my buddleia which gets enormous every winter and it will reveal more of the brick wall behind there which I always think of as a, a canvas to the blossoms when they come out in the summer. As you can 
see I've got that bundlier taken down. Some stragglers at the back there from uh, next door. And it's a lovely sunny morning, although as you can see it's already pretty blustery. And today is the day we have a red alert weather warning out for Storm Eustace, who's on the way apparently. So um, I'm going to stay inside and uh, do a bit of stitching today. But uh, let's hope the garden doesn't look too much worse after the storm has gone past. Talking of that uh, red wall I have at the back of the garden down there from uh, two doors away. It's rather fun the way it gets that beautiful shadow uh, from the tree in front of it as soon as the sun shines in the mornings. It's rather beautiful sort of tracery work there. I look at that sometimes when I'm thinking about how to uh, embroider a winter tree. Obviously you can't see the leaves. That's quite effective. Anyway, wish me luck in the uh, storm and um, I'll be back again in a few days time. Welcome. 